Hi guys, it's Tony and we're back on the bench. And this evening, I wanted to do a quick little inspection video here on a new reel that I've never worked on. So we're looking at a Zepco Cardinal Model 6. And, uh, you know, this reel, it, it's, it, it has a lot of signs, all, all the proper indicators that it just it hasn't been used in a long, long time. Uh, to the extent where it's got this melted rubber band actually here on the spool, as you can see. Uh, but this is a reel that I picked up recently uh, with a bunch of parts reels, more or less. And uh, one of the reasons why uh, this was deemed a parts reel is for a couple of different reasons. Uh, one of them is, is it actually has a, a hairline crack here. It's a little hard to see on the camera, but you can see it. It's right there. Uh, you know, it's just you know, a rough crack, you know, in that, in that ring on the side of the rotor. Uh, but the other thing is, is the anti-reverse doesn't work. So that's a little bit of a problem. So, uh, you know, we want to inspect, take a look and see if, you know, there's an easy way to remedy that problem. And if there is, then, you know, we'll certainly fix it and I'll do a full service on this reel. Uh, you know, this is definitely vintage. I can't really date it off the top of my head. I want to say it's probably around early 70s, maybe mid 70s. Uh, I do have the original box with it, um, you know, but, you know, it's cool because it's got this stamp on here, uh, you know, and that indicates that it's made in Sweden. You can see this is Zepco by Abu, made in Sweden. So, and it actually says product of Sweden down here. So at a certain point, a Zebco uh, must have connected with Abu to uh, distribute uh, these these reels, or the other way around, perhaps, uh, where uh, Abu was working with Zebco uh, to distribute, you know, these models. So, uh, but looking at this, it looks relatively simple. So, let's see the inside of this and see if we can't figure out this anti-reverse issue. But, you know, this is a reel that, for me, personally, I probably wouldn't use it. It would probably just be like a, a collector's piece, more or less. Okay, so really nice one screw, take apart design, which is nice. And, you know, this is, this is really nice stuff in here, uh, the way that this has been made. Okay, but we're looking here at our, uh, our anti-reverse and I think it's pretty, it's pretty obvious where the issue is here. It has to do with the spring. So we're going to have a look here. But the spring, you know, we've got some really dried up grease right here. But this lever, you know, when you move this leather, this lever back and forth, you know, it's supposed to uh, engage that, that dog. <clears throat> and right there, just fidgeting with it just the tiniest little bit there, you know, made it so that, you know, it's actually working again. Okay. And now once again, it's not working again. So it, it's, it has to do with this dried grease here. And once I, I pull this back, it should be enough. You can see it, it's moving there. Okay. And you can hear it click and it's actually working. Well, there's a real simple way to remedy that kind of a problem. All right, it's called clean it uh, with some WD-40. All right, so uh, this will just be the demonstration of how to fix a problem like this. And this has to do with uh, real maintenance not happening over time. You've got all this dried grease in here and it turns into like a tar-like kind of viscosity more or less. Uh, and it just tightens everything up to the point where, you know, these functions just simply don't work anymore. Okay. So right there, you know, we've cleaned that up a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to take like a Q-tip to through, you know, this whole, this whole area here and just try to clean out some of this old grease. All right. And snap that back. No problem. Okay. So simple, easy fix, all right? Anyone can do that. And uh, it's nice when that happens because essentially, uh, you know, you can, you can use the reel and not have to worry about that anti 
reverse dog not working. You know, so what I will do is I'm going to do a follow-up video uh, to this video, which will be a walkthrough service of this reel after I've actually gotten done uh, going through it and servicing it. And uh, I'll be posting that shortly and we'll see how the reel goes together and you know how you take it apart how you clean the parts off you know this does have a little bit of rust damage up here it's not major it's nothing that can't be cleaned off um, i'm probably going to strip off all the line off of here uh, you know because it's been there for you know god knows how long and you know we're just going to clean it up the best we can make it pretty to look at and possibly uh, make it so that it can go on out and, and do some fishing. So uh, that's it. Thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please make sure you do subscribe. Hit the notification button. And that way you will get all the updates as to when these videos are coming out. Uh, such as the follow-up video to this one. Where we're going to do a walkthrough, step-by-step, in-depth uh, service on uh, this Zebco Cardinal 6. So we'll see you next time.